Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this limit problem. And the first thing that I like to do is straight plug in and see what happens. So we're going to plug in a zero and we're going to see what do we get. We get in the numerator zero divided by the square root of zero plus nine minus three. And let's see what we get. So we get zero divided by the square root of zero plus nine is the square root of nine. And the square root of nine is three. So we get three minus three, which is zero. So we get zero divided by zero. And this is a big red flag. Whenever we get dividing by zero, we have to see if there's another method we can do to solve this problem. And in the description box, I have a series of categorized limit problems where we have different methods to tackle these kind of problems. There's also random limit problems in the description box. So this method is called multiply by the conjugate. So we would get limit of x approaching zero. We'll keep our parentheses, x divided by, I'm gonna put a parentheses here, uh, square root of x plus nine minus three, close parentheses, and I'm gonna multiply by the conjugate. I'll show you what that means. So the conjugate is gonna be this piece, but instead of subtraction, you're gonna make it addition. So we'll say the square root of x plus nine plus three, I'm gonna put a parentheses, then we'll do this piece, square root of x plus nine um, plus three. And the plus three is outside of the square root. And we can close parentheses. And so the square root of x plus nine plus three divided by the same thing is just one because this piece divided by this piece would just give us one. So we're not making any real changes. So next we're gonna expand this out. So we're gonna get the limit of x approaching zero, parentheses, x, times the square root of x plus nine. Then we have a plus three, close parentheses, divided by. So this piece times this piece would give us x plus nine. Then we would have this piece times this. So that would be three, the square root of x plus nine. But we also have negative three times the square root of x plus nine. So it cancels. Now we have negative three times positive three, and we get a negative nine. Okay, now we'll clean up a little bit. So we get our limit of x approaching zero, parentheses. Um, we'll keep the numerator, x, parentheses, the square root of x plus nine. And then we have a plus three. This whole thing will be divided by, now notice, nine minus nine is zero. So all of this got canceled but the x. At this point, we notice something. The numerator has an x, the denominator has an x, and this whole thing has a parentheses. Because of that, we get to cancel this x out. And so we get limit of x approaching zero, parentheses, the square root of x plus nine plus three. At this point, we can go ahead and plug in zero. And so if we plug in zero, we would get the square root of zero plus nine. And then we have this still plus three. Uh, the square root of zero plus nine is just nine. So the square root of nine would give us a three plus three. And our final answer would be six. And that's all we need to do to solve these kind of problems.